Hey yo, what's up guys? It's another commentary coming from Enhanced Gaming. TG Bluff here. We got a few guests in here. Um, EOA Colossal, say what's up. What's up, Bluff? Thanks for having me, buddy. Yeah, no problem, yeah, man. Uh, DJ Ski over here. What up, yo? Yo, what's up? Alright, so um, we're just trying to talk to the viewers a little bit about uh, what's going on with EOA Gaming and Enhanced Don't Gaming and objective. how this all pretty much started. So, uh... How about we hear from you, Colossal? What do you like? What do you think about it? Um, what do you plan to see in the future? And, um, just any like thoughts on it, how you feel about it? Um, I mean, for the most part, you know, there's gonna be great things coming for you know both EG and EOA. You know, coming that you know we're gonna be a strong team going into the uh, 2012 Pro Circuit. Um, you know, we put the time into it, so. Pretty much what I'm hoping for is that, you know, everything becomes a trademark, you know, a dynasty of some sort where, you know, you can kind of look back and, you know, see, you know, everything unfold. Yeah, that's, that sounds good. Um, so, Ski, how much time and uh, effort do you put into this game, like, on a daily basis or maybe even, like, a weekly basis? Like, just give us a rough, like, amount and, like, how the viewers can become, like, some, like, what you guys have been as such such as like a pro going to the pro circuit um, well, um pretty much the main thing is you gotta get your team with the set schedule you gotta make sure like you just got everyone's on at the same time make sure everything make sure everything's molding together perfectly we're normally on like most of us really don't have much going on so we're normally on like four to like ten at night sometimes even later we pretty much probably put in five to eight hours a day um, I mean, we play all the time, we stream all the time, we're always doing something, and pretty much just to get better is just to play more. If you play more, you're going to start learning the spawns, you're going to start you're gonna start finding people, you're going to find, end up finding a good team. And that's how this community needs to grow, you know, I mean, we need to be more open like we are, and hope for the best, you know, just, uh, that's pretty much it, you know, got to play a lot, though. Take it day by day, right? And, uh, yeah, exactly. communication is key. Yeah, exactly. And it's all about sticking together as a squad, not only just sticking together, but like a brotherhood, you know? And yeah, that's family. what it takes. Family. All right, um, yeah, so pretty much you guys are playing on Dome, um, playing against these kids, and you guys run them over. Um, talk a little bit about, like, what's your basic strategy on, like, say, cuts, and ex explain to them what cuts is. And you know, just like tell them, tell them what you think about it, how you like the map, how capture the flag runs, uh, if that's your best game type, whether you like search or not, and uh, just go from there. All right. Well, I guess I'll talk a little bit on this one, Ski. Um, we're pretty much, you know, with that one, you always want somebody going down empty side with a slow piece, you know, so you can always watch the one side. You know, you can have bunker held down. You want two people always pushing up top, long haul. You, you always want long pushed out, and usually what I'll do. Myself, preferably, you know, don't hold it down by the concrete and the humpies. I'll take up top, you know, it's a great place to get a couple picks off game. And you know, you maintain that, that can definitely be a power position for your team. Um, pretty much cuts, you know, cuts is a main thing. You know, when somebody pulls a flag, you need somebody to be there, whether it's getting up to small, getting there where they can't get to the bid to get you in your bag. You pretty much just have a successful cap, you just need to have everything in the right place, you need to have your teammates positioned right, and everybody just needs to play their role. Yeah, just, uh, I'll say something a little bit about that. Pretty much just what Colossus said, I mean, just everything has to mold together, and if you play more together, like, as a team, you'll start learning the cuts, you'll start learning the spawns, and that's pretty much what it comes down to, I mean, if you have the cuts and you know the spawns, it's pretty simple to play the game, actually. Yeah, it seems like you guys really know what you're doing and put a lot of time and effort into it, which is really good, you know, you guys are dedicated, you your heart and soul goes into gaming, which is good, you know, that that's what it takes to be one of the top guys in, in the game. You know? So, um, talk a little bit about your guys' LAN experience and how that was and how it affected you guys personally. Um, Steve, do you want to go ahead and take this one first? Oh, yeah, okay, the first half, I've actually never played at a LAN, I've been to but I've never played. Um, I've been on a couple of teams that I've been really sketched last minute, and it's just kind of frustrating. I didn't want to quit gaming, but you just got to push forward through it. I mean, this is my dream. It's what I want. I want to I want to at least play stop 16 for this event, and hopefully we'll just go from there. You can just go ahead and Colossal. 
Um, I mean, mine's pretty much the same, Doc. You know, my thing was a little bit easier for me to come up and whatnot because due to, you know, I don't want to speak anything down, but my brother was a pro and whatnot, so, you know, having that was an easier transition for me coming into gaming and the competitive scene than an average amateur player coming into it. So, for me, I guess I can just say, you know, just having all the games, you know, just sitting back and just kind of watching on the side and stuff, like, you know, paid off for me. Yeah, it's a little booster, you know, like, not everyone gets to have that every day, you know, that's like, that's like going into a baseball tournament and someone teaching you how to play, giving you the right skill sets, and instead of just grabbing a baseball bat and trying to go up there and hit a ball, you know, um, sounds, yeah, it sounds good, um, what are your views on, um, the new MLG variant, how they're taking out the Type 95 and how it's going to affect the apostles, just talk about that and what they're nerfing, and, um, just what you think about it. Well, I mean, to be quite honest, the Type 95 is really no similar to what it was in the, you know, as the FAMAS and the MW2 exists. This is not the FAMAS, you know, it had the same power and whatnot, it just had a little bit more kick. I mean, for me, it's not so much the Type 95 is what I'm worried about, it's just sort of the MP7, the way you can fall for it, you know, like the ACR. You know, I just think that needs to kind of go for the bearing to be a bit more smoother. Um, and as far as the nerfing goes up to Type 95, as far as I know, I mean, it's just a hit fire. So as far as that goes, you know, it's still a pretty, you know, accurate gun as far as, you know, having to take a long range shot, you know, get yeah. the job done. Yeah, true. All right, um, Ski, tell me a little bit about, um, damn, what was I going to say? I'm going to say, um, talk a little bit about um, where you see EOA in the next year and where you see yourself. Oh, I see you a young man putting the time and effort, putting the practice, you know, I mean, just everything's coming together, you know, that's what this comes down to, if everything, if everyone's trying hard and everyone like, wants this, we'll, we'll, we'll be big, there's no doubt, because we put in way more time than probably a lot of the pro teams out there, and I see you a place in top 16 at the first event, I really do, because we put in a lot of time, a lot of effort, and I just, and then in the next year, I see us place that you're being up on that main stage is playing really good, and I hope to see us top three. But we'll have to see where it goes from there. Yeah, that's that's real good. You know, um, I'm really gonna try to keep getting all the commentaries out there. You know, that this is the first commentary we're doing with EOA and AP. I'm doing full comp. We're gonna come out with some personal, um, more of like how you came up in gaming or your personal life and how gaming affects your life and just letting all the views and fans know the viewers and all the average fans know like what it takes to be a pro gamer and um, I think that's gonna really get you guys the respect that's really, de that, that's really deserved you know I I jumped on your guys' boat real quick and I mean I think I made a great decision in EG and um, I just really hope the best for you guys and um, all hope to you you know yeah thanks yeah, yeah, I appreciate that, bro. I just want to say I thank you for being back and us, you know, all the, you know, back that you guys give us, you know, make it go out to make everything possible for us to, you know, be as dedicated and, you know, have us to give something for us to look forward to. So I just want to, you know, give uh, EG a big shout out and a big thanks to Bluff. Yeah, no problem, dude. I, I'm, it's a pleasure, you know, like, just for me to even, like, start a YouTube channel in November, like, 11th or something and already have 400 viewers 40 subscribers already have a pro-am team on my side you know like i'm i'm just really grateful for what i have and take it day by day and you know just like you guys you guys take your gaming day by day you have a rough day you have a great day you know it just like makes you guys more of a family like that's what i like to see you know like when you guys approached me and said hey um we'd like to start kind of like a partnership thing i was like okay well if i do this this and this what are you guys gonna do for me and you know like just how every business would work and um, I'm just really appreciative and uh, I'd like to just thank you guys. I can't thank you guys enough, you know. I'm, I hope to see this go really big in 2012. Uh, maybe be one of the top YouTubers and um, you never know what could happen down the road. But just take it day by day and keep progressing and just like you guys is gaming, you know. Um, well, um, this video is coming to a close. I'd like to thank you guys for joining us for a commentary. And, We'll see you guys soon. I'm about to do personal commentary soon coming up, and then maybe like another team comp. Um, some call out vids, maybe some uh, spot vids. We'll just see what happens. So, thanks guys. I really appreciate it.
Thanks once again, Bluff. Appreciate it, guys. Yep, no problem. All right, make sure you guys comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks. We have the enemy flock. Check the enemy. 